Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Well, today I am going to attempt to do, uh, well, balloon smash, but I'm going to be using a rubber ball because that's what the, uh, the uh, one lady did. Her name is Amy. I will put a link to her channel below this. She doesn't have a video up on this yet, but I'm going to attempt to do this. Now, I wanted to do them on tiles. I got the four four tiles here, which will be coasters. This will be a trivet. This will be a spoon rest, because I thought that would be a neat addition to the, uh, to the set. So they'd have a trivet, a spoon rest, and then the four coasters. But I made eight ounces, and I probably got way too much, so... Um, and I'm only using, um, three colors. What I'm, what I'm using is, is I'm going to use, for, um, the stone coat countertop black base tint on the bottom. And then I'm going to do aluminum and the breakfast at Tiffany's, which are both by, um, just resin. Um, if you look in my description below, you will see a link. To the shop that I buy them from. I get no commission from this shop. This is just the shop where I buy all my stuff at. And that's why I put their link down below. They also have an Amazon page where you can find most of the stuff that I, um, most of the tools that I use. And some of their little extras. But go check out, go check out, um, both of their, um, both of their uh, little shops on Amazon and their own website. It's um, artistilldesk.com. It's two T's, two L's. Um, and because um, that, that's important because some people forget to type um, the second T or the second L. And um, I also put a link to their um, YouTube channel because just about everything I have learned about resin I've learned from them and now what I've been doing in my videos is taking what I've learned from them and experimenting with a lot of stuff that has to do with um oh boy I made way too much resin again ha huh. that's okay I'll just do more more coasters I guess um I've been um um taking all this all the little ticks trips tick okay first day with my new mouth sorry I'm learning how to talk um I've been taking all their tips and tricks for resin and using it to try to recreate some stuff in um resin that I've seen done in acrylics and I know that sounds weird but I love Amy um, I think her last name is Murray. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Amy, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your last name. Um, but I saw her do this, and this looks, it's so easy and it's so neat. Okay, now first, um, first I'm mixing the, um, uh, base coat, um, black, uh, the black base tint. You don't want to put a lot in there because... If you get too much in there, you're going to get marshmallow. And and then you won't and, it, and then you also won't get cells. I know you if you put this down first and you put the color over it, that's how you get cells in resin, which I'm still trying to attempt to do that all the time. Okay, now that's going to be my base color and here is if I can open there we go here is my aluminum by just resin and I always take my popsicle stick and I always mix it up you don't um I've got about an ounce and a half because that's a three ounce cup so I don't need a whole lot in there remember you can always add more color if you need to but you can't take out the color if you put too much in there. 
Okay, that's the aluminum. And then this is the Breakfast by Tiffany's. I just ordered the other day some more Just Resin um, paste because I really love their stuff. This is such a pretty green. Well, aqua, I guess you could say. And I always mix it up just a little bit to make sure it's all mixed together. Don't need a whole lot because that one's got ah oh, that one's got about ounce and between an ounce and a half and two ounces. Okay, so here is my breakfast at Tiffany's. Now I'm gonna mix them up together real quick. Um, I will tell you the the ones that I the I should have used a board. Or a, um, or a, a better canvas for those ones I did that were inspired by Melly D. Um, because the corners, even though I put the Mod Podge on the back to stiffen it up, it it just it it the corners didn't turn out right. The edges didn't turn out right. So I'm gonna see what I can do to fix those. But I'm going to get some MDF boards. To try that again. Okay, and here is the Breakfast by Tiffany's. One thing you want to do when, um, when you got a thick bunch of the epoxy tint on your stick from sticking it in the, uh, in the container and mixing the container up a little bit, you want to scrape that excess off because it's going to be hard to get it off of there. Um, just by stirring so that's what I always do when I start mixing the tints in or the paste I mean um, I scrape off the excess off of my stick now this won't be hopefully this won't be that long of a video okay first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all of these with the uh, with the black base tint and I think I've got enough made for all these. We will find out. I'm just doing a really good coat on it. And I will heat it up and spread it around in a minute. Mmm, I may not have had... I may not have enough here I don't know but I do have some extra resin just in case okay let's see if I have enough I probably put too much on those coasters so let me get the rest of this out onto this tile this little one that's going to be a spoon rest is I think it's a three by six the one that's going to be a trivet is a six by six and of course the coasters are four by four inch tiles. I got all of them taped off on the back. Okay. Let me see here if I can get a little bit of this off onto here. Because I did put a little bit too much on the coasters. Ah, a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Spraying it around just a little bit, and then I'll go in there and pop the air bubbles. Well, really, I probably don't need to pop the air bubbles yet, because I'm going to put... You don't want to use too much heat on your um, stone coat countertops um, black base tint, because if you put too much heat on it, you're not going to get... You're not going to get a, uh, enough, you're not going to get cells. They're just going to fall apart. So I try my hardest not to use too much heat when I'm doing this. But you'll, hopefully, I'm, uh, hey, this is an experiment for me. I haven't tried it yet. So hopefully it'll It'll create cells when I smash the, uh, well, the balloon or ball, whichever you want to use. I'm just using a small kid's ball that I got at um, the dollar store. Hmm. I hope I have enough. 
trying to keep the resin off of my gloves at the moment. I do. I will have an alcohol wipe here in a minute. Um, I just take. I buy. I actually buy a ba big bag of these T-shirts at the thrift store. It's the ones that for for whatever reason they don't want to sell them. So they sell these t-shirts at three dollars a bag. I think I got like uh, maybe a dozen in there. I don't know. And then I just cut it right down the middle and then I cut each half of the t-shirt in half again. And they turn in, they're, they're really great rags. And I just soak them in alcohol before I start. Although today I didn't do that. I will in a minute. I'm almost out of alcohol, but I've got two spare bottles here. Okay. I need to spread this out just a little bit more. See, I think I got too much on the coasters and not enough. Hmm. Just saw a streak of a dark black in there, and I hope that wasn't part of the tint that didn't get mixed in. I will find out. Might be some that was stuck to the stick. Okay, and then you can always, when you're using your stick to do this, you can always scrape it off on the edge to get the get the resin on there okay I don't know if I'm gonna need any more let me do a quick once over with the heat gun if you go to their Amazon store for artisttilldeath.com they have this Amtake um, heat gun in there it's pretty it's pretty inexpensive it's got an on-off switch, which I've covered with a rubber glove to keep the resin from getting in there. And um, it has a, the temperatures right here. And I was told just keep the temperature up at the highest. And just use either the, the low air or the high air. Okay, now I'm going to have to get my alcohol rag ready because I got to get my fingers in here. Trying to push it just up to the edge. Resin is self-leveling, so it will level out on its own. But I just... I guess when you're doing, as you're doing the painting, you should really spread it out so you have the color everywhere. Um, okay, get you up to the edge, get some more of you over here, get this over here, okay, and get you over there. I'm still learning the ins and outs about resin, and I think I'm doing this the right way. I mean, we will see when it's dry tomorrow, which I, sh I didn't bring out the ones from um, yesterday's video because they just they don't look all that great. So I got to figure out what I did wrong. I think I used canvases were way 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 too cheap here's some black down here let me see if I can pick up this black and get the black up here ah there we go waste not want not okay get all my little white edges covered Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is each one of these is going to get a little puddle, except the big one might get more than one puddle, a little puddle in the middle of the silver. See how it's spreading out? Okay. 
because then I'm going to put a puddle in the middle of that of the um, breakfast at Tiffany's because this this aluminum and the breakfast at Tiffany's just oh they go so good together this one I'm going to do two little puddles Okay, there we go. And I'm going to end up having enough for more coasters, it looks like. Okay. Now, then she said to do another little puddle in the middle of the other color, which I can't remember how many colors. She, I think she only used two colors. I'm not sure. But that's all I'm going to use is just two colors. Okay. Because the effects are going to happen when I warm up the resin and then when I blow it into a circle. You'll see what I'm talking about when I do it. And a little bit more right there. Okay. Yep. Made way too much of those two colors, but that's okay. I can I have more resin. I can make more black and do a couple more of the coasters now one thing I'm gonna do ah this is hot forgot to take it off before she doesn't use the attachment so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat up all the resins pop the air bubbles Now, here is the ball that I'm going to use. Now, it does take off a lot of resin when you smash it, but just try to be real gentle with it when you smash it in the middle of the circle. And you want to come up with a clean, clean, surface every time so you're going to wipe it off you can also twist it a little bit and use a different side okay probably should have got a couple of paper towels out with alcohol to do this I may have put too much color because it's not doing what I was hoping it would do Oh, now I'm getting my fingers all sticky from this ball. Okay, now this big one is something I'm not sure what I how I'm going to do it, so I'm going to roll it. Clean off as much as I can. Smash it. You don't want to smash it too hard. It's going to pick up a lot of the resin, see? So you don't want to smash it too hard, but you want to get the um, resin spread out. Okay. Oh, I should have put two things below this because it's not working with just one. So I've got to be gentle because I don't want to tip it over. Okay, okay, there we go. I think I got them all smashed. Now, I'm going to show you the little circular motion she does that spreads out the resin. Let me just put this right here so it stands up. Okay. Let me clean my fingers off. Okay, what she does is, and I'm assuming she does it on on high, so I'm just going to, she puts it right over it, and then she just goes in circles like this. Just blows it out. Yeah, I got too much color on here. I'm 
I think I did. And when she watches it, hopefully Amy will tell me everything that I did wrong. So then I can try it again with her suggestions. It's so hard to find that off switch. Well, okay, this looks like they're done. Um, I, of course, got to clean up the edges, and I've got more resin left, so I'm probably going to do a couple more tiles. But basically, I'm going to say that these are done. Um, hopefully, when Amy watches this, she can tell me what I did wrong. I mean, I hope that I didn't do too much wrong. I don't think I did. I might have done too much heat. I don't know yet. Um, this one I can see way too much white in the middle. Not happy about that. But I love the cells going on over here. So anyway... Um, I'm just going to do a couple more of these with the same colors and the same technique. So basically, I'm going to shut the camera off um, and say goodbye to everybody. Well, say goodbye to everybody first, then shut the camera off. And I will show you how they dried, because you know resin moves, so it's going to dry different. Um, I will show you tomorrow... In, the net, in that video at the beginning, how these dried. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps me, you know, or a thumbs down. If, you, if there's something you don't like, give it a thumbs down, but please tell me what you didn't like. Um, so um, co like it, comment, share it with your friends. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to my uh, channel. And don't forget to tap the little notification bell to, um, to uh, get notified of all upcoming videos. Uh, my plan this month for the month of January 2018 is to do one video every day. Okay? So anyway, um, well, thank you for watching and see you in tomorrow's video. Thanks. Bye.